Hi folks, uh, so this is uh, Posmo Dev Diaries Zero, I guess. Uh, it's like, I think I think if this is the one that sort of uh, I want to use to sort of set the the story for all of the the, the next ones that will come later, that uh, tries to talk about you know what we're building or what I've been building in the past like week or so. Um, this one needs to like I, in order to talk about the incremental progress, I need to at least try and provide some sort of overview about what it is and where things are coming from. Um, so to try and give you a sense of what we we're trying to build, um, there is uh, a goal to basically make this sort of digital puzzle platform that, that sort of takes a, a, a newspaper style uh, sort of page, a single page with multiple puzzles on it where um, we try and uh, do things like having, you know, the equivalent thumbnails that are accurate to your game state, the uh, like having new new and diverse crossword editors and sort of uh, trying to find like adding collaboration on top of uh, the, these games and like, you know, having that as a baseline. Um, so you could think of it maybe as like New York, like the, the generation after the New York Times is game pages. That's probably one of the best examples of it. Or maybe even like an old web portal back from the days of like Yahoo and, and, uh, and Emerson Messenger. Um, except, you know, modern modernized uh, uh and and with a bunch of like starting off with a bunch of zax games um and so i've been working on that off and on for for about a year um whilst i was working on typescript for a large amount of that time so it was like sort of slow subtle progress in the background while i was trying to like build out and figure out some of these problems um and so maybe a way to sort of talk you through how it's currently sort of implemented uh, and the way in which I've sort of been thinking about it in my head um, is probably first in Figma. I have these cute little uh, cute little system level diagram of like all of the pieces. Um, so we call it Posmo um, and Posmo like it, 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 it will, our initial work will be to make a good website and then eventually to make an iOS and Android app from it. Um, we sort of have uh, a few different systems that need to happen. So collaboration means you need some sort of real-time uh, syncing system. We, we're looking at social features as well. So like there, there's a bit of an overlap between real-time with the multiplayer like aspects of collaboration as also social aspects of uh, how, um, uh, well, how we store profiles, accounts, groups, clans, all that sort of stuff. Um, we we need uh, like a, a, a single consistent API to talk to a lot of the, uh, to sort of hold all that information and to be able to create a semantic map of all of the interesting bits. And then we need sort of applications that, uh, that can talk to that API and sort of also run the games at runtime. Um, and so the way in which it's is structured, uh, it, it's somewhat historical, but also like still fits within today's mindset um, is we have a sort of Posmo, which I call the Posmo, uh, which is like the API, which sort of is handled by a project called Redwood um, that does a GraphQL API. Uh, it handles all of our admin pages and it will handle all of the marketing pages as well as uh, probably uh, puzzle submission. So let me just put that in there too, because I think that's also kind of important to, to note. It's like kind of side quests that are relevant. Um, puzzle submission, great. So to give you a quick sense of what that looks like, um, let me get one up. That's puzmo.net slash admin. Um, so the admin, you know, we're trying to grab, like get all sorts of useful bits of information about, you know, the individual users. This is all my staging data. Um, but you can get a sense of like, this is something that Redwood's very good at, uh, like quickly rendering HTML, according, talking to your existing API. Um, and uh, these are like just puzzles that I've sort of jammed in myself that are not necessarily like ones we entirely own copyright to. By the time we get production, I will be wiping the entire database. Um, but there is uh, this is what this is what that's handling, and uh, behind the scenes, it generates a, you know a GraphQL API that sort of uh, that is the, the the client side to this, uh, what 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 the client talks to. Um, then there is the Posmo app. So this is sort of the thing that uh, like will actually run your, uh, your your game at the end of the day. Um, I have a I, I first prototyped this inside Redwood, so it's actually available in here, um, which sort of 
this one is like, you know, this is reaching out to like GraphQL API, coming back with, hey, here are the different games and here's their current like uh, daily version. Um, and here's a, a thumbnail of that, you know, that actual game based on the real like puzzle play itself. Uh, so those are, those, those are, those are examples. My thumbnails, uh, very much alpha quality, uh, right now, but they, you can, you can have a sense. This is, this, this is the real, like, this is the real data, even if it's not very polished. Um, these all actually, this is sort of replicated on play.puzma.net, which is a React Native, uh, a React Native web app. So it's using Expo under the hood. Um, I'm still working on the fonts right now, but, um, you can sense it's more or less the exact same thing you've just seen. But this, uh, you know, this this will run across Android uh, and iOS as, as, as a React Native app uh, and is currently running as a React Native web app on, uh, on play.posmo.net. Uh, and that's working out so far. Um, I haven't, I've got, I'm, I'm sure there'll be later videos uh, detailing some of the, the intricacies of that. But uh, today it, it all seems to be working quite well. And I'm two weeks into sort of using it as, a, as the experimental framework for this. Um, and just to show you, like, you, you know, you can click through into a game uh, and sort of each game gets a, ne a unique URL that represents your, like, exact game state. So you can share that with other people and they would be able to see your progress and so on, um, as well as being able to collaborate. So the crossword is pretty solid. Uh, I, I play it every day with my wife, or at least I try to. Um, sometimes I'm busy, but that's okay. Uh, the, uh, the other games I'll run, um, but... So that's sort of the the, 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 the the this middle section, this Puzmo Puzmo app. Um, and its responsibilities are uh, you know to be the user facing aspects of it. so that you know ranges from showing your progress to playing a game to having browse navigation systems and things like that to let you do all of the features you'd want to as a, as a user. Um, the next one then is sort of collaboration and social. Uh, I thought that this was going to be an absolute nightmare, um, and uh, so far it's, it's it's not. I've been quite impressed uh, because I eventually found a thing called Nakama, which is a um, a sort of it's an open source game server. Uh, it's it's literally like it's like as if I wrote a list of things that I needed uh, to to deal with with respect to multiplayer and social uh, aspects of the of the of, of the of Puzmo. and this this uh, this this project actually does all of that for you um, it's it's really great and it's open source and I'm currently self hosting so look it's, it's for building real time social competitive games I'm not entirely sure that we would consider Puzmo competitive but there are leaderboards that people could compete with um, I, uh, and so this has been really great. Uh, you know the, you know playing a playing a game is is like cooperating and sharing on a game is uh, for us is is actually using like real time matching where we use the ID of the individual game to sort of help these two clients connect to each other, uh, and that's happening inside React Native Web right now. And you know we do cursor sharing and things like that. Um, this is all, yeah. This is all super cool. Uh, it's it's actually quite a low level API for for uh, for the for the stuff that we're doing. Uh, as if you know, look at modern modern collaborative tools. They 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 usually provide a high level API for like here's how your cursor position. Here's here's a block of like CRDT editable text and stuff like that. We get none of that, um, and so we like each game sort of gets to decide individually how and what they want to do there, um, which actually quite elegantly brings us on to the game section. Uh, so games is a separate repo. Uh, all each one of these is a separate repo. Um, and games is the sort of uh, games is currently self-hosted on my uh, on my domain, but uh, it's password locked, so you wouldn't be able to get into it if you uh, if you tried. The it's on Heroku too, so it's just starting to load it up. Um, the the what we see here is sort of. Individual games are sort of built using Vite and sort of shipped up as like fully packaged uh, environments on every single commit. So I can look through every single possible commit for uh, for every game and sort of play each game at each individual part. Now this is super useful because um, you know we could be on I could open up the crossword and it, it's it's working against a, a particular like uh, version of the game but i can change that to be uh you know a version that i've just shipped uh and it, it will actually load a different version of the javascript um uh will it is it asset sure assets 
Shah, sure, close. Um, there, there should be a visual change. It should be able to notice the difference. Yeah, there you go. Look, yeah, I'm starting to get my fonts and colors in. Um, but the so this this decoupling uh, is it is, is quite prevalent in all of these systems, right? So there is um, games which you can have all these different individual versions at different shards. Uh, all of that sort of controlled inside the admin. So we've got like uh, Puzmo Puzmo .net slash admin. Um, where you can go to a game and each individual game is sort of like this loosely coupled, um, you know, you, you tell, you tell the JavaScript runtime where to find the, the games sort of in it function, uh, and to tell it, and there's like a, there's like a pretty strongly typed, uh, API between Puzmo the service and each individual game, um, which so far has never had a break and change. So like you can load any version so far, uh, and that sort of gives you this ability to say, hey, okay, so this version is currently at DA6, and I can sort of choose an individual version that's coming in from uh, from 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 the builds uh, of every single game, as well as like some 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 stuff telling you, you know, which game was changed uh, last time. So I know that like uh, you know, TypeShift had last had an update back in January fifth. So it's basically been a month since I've touched TypeShift. Um, so that's 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 pretty cool. So that those are the four set of major systems in play in order to sort of play your game. Uh, you would go to the like play like some uh, here's, here's a good example actually. Someone would send you a link to you know play.puzmo.net, uh, which you would click. That would take you to play.puzmo.net, which would load the React Native web app today. Um, that would. Uh, that would sort of get enough, the, the API would send you enough information to be able to start connecting to our Nakama server while the game is loading up. Um, and the internal routing inside the React Native app uh, will lo ask for enough information about the game to then sort of pull down uh, the the current puzzle, your current state, your progress, uh, like other sort of useful bits of data. And then it will sort of, in the runtime, sort of, uh, pull in those, the, the, the JavaScript, the bundled JavaScript of your game, and then start launching that up. Um, and so those those sort of are all these different like systems that come together to sort of create Puzmo. Um, it, it, you know, I, I don't want to call it like a, I mean, it's, it's somewhat multiple architecture, you, but I wouldn't call it a distributed system because those tend to be like, that, that has different terminology generally. Um, each game, has its own individual sort of architecture. It doesn't, it, all, all that Puzmo cares about is that you talk to the API that we provide you when we boot up your uh, your main function. And you, you we can build a, a game however it makes sense. Um, I've been trying to push Redux in most of them so that there's like a very consistent state management system across them all. Uh, which can make life easier. Like I can have a special high-level API for you have a Redux uh, game, um, but otherwise uh, I don't want to go too far on being very specific about what that API uh, sets expectations with uh, the main game. So that games can be built the right way each time, right? Like if you're building something in Unreal uh, or you're building something in Unity, like you don't, like Redux is just out of the equation there. There's no no, no point in ever using that. And I don't want to be sort of forcing people down the direction of like, this is the only technical route you can have when things are usually a bit more complicated than that. Um, and so that is all of the major systems uh, involved in, in Puzmo. Like, you know, a lot of the, a lot of my work is sort of, uh, you know, I, I, I go, I, I open something like maybe uh, it's a React Native app. Uh, you know, I spend a lot of time sort of thinking about uh, the the database uh, and how all the pieces come together uh, you know lots of lots of comments in how all the um, in like the database schema that then turns into the GraphQL schema and that's sort of the main route in which everything talks um, and and sort of that's generally an overview of how Posmo comes together and and how all the pieces work individually um, like you know everything from here in my notes kind of will assume that you know a bunch of these things so that I can like then talk about the uh, like the actual things that I'm working on on a day-to-day -day basis um, and so uh, yeah thanks for thanks for 
taking 15 minutes to, to understand a lot of the architectural parts of a, of a game system. Uh, and, and then that allows me to like actually talk in my, in my notes without explaining everything all the time. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's, that's Pesmo Dev Diaries Zero, the, the first one. So thank you, everybody. Have a good one.